everyone, Tiffany Manger here, and I'm sorry I didn't upload a video last week. I was having a bunch of internet problems, so um, when I and I've also been very busy with a bunch of things, so I uh, did the paper pumpkin video and I uploaded it as soon as my internet got back up and running properly, and then I decided I'm going to do a second video this week, so. That way I can make up for it. And this time we're going to do this cute little treat holder. It's a tea caddy. You just open it up. You've got your accordion fold for three tea bags. You could make also little mini cards or some kind of little cool treat to slide in there. It doesn't have to be tea bags. And you can see it expands out. He shuts too. Very quick, very easy to do. This would make a uh, very cute little wedding gift. Um, what do you call them? Party favors to give away, or even for birthdays and whatnot. So put him aside. And what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a piece of card stock. This is the the shell part of it. It's eight and five eighths by two and five eighths. And then, excuse me, you're going to need two sides here. And these guys are three by two and seven eighths. So we're gonna start scoring with our score tool here. You can see it all. And we're going to take our long piece and do this long ways here. This will be at two and seven eighths, three and five eighths, six and a half, and seven and a quarter. All right. So again, that's two and seven eighths, three and five eighths, six and a half, and seven and a quarter. I'm gonna set him aside, and then we're gonna take our little strips, and at the three inch side, the longer side, we're gonna score every half an inch. So you wanna do half an inch, one, one and a half, two, and then three, or two and a half, excuse me. So we'll do that again every half inch. So you're going to do half your inch. One. I'm sliding over here. Hopefully I'm in view. <laughs> I had to move my camera so all of my adjustments are wrong and different. Okay. Here we go. Like I said, every half inch. And there you go. We're done scoring. Put that away. All right, so with our long piece, you're just going to reimburse your folds or burnish or whatever you call it. I can't think today. I have a very busy day today, so I'm just trying not to rush, but I'm also on press time. So, all right, so there's your outer shell. We'll put him aside, and then you're going to, we call it mountain fold, valley, valley fold. So you're just going to fold it up like an accordion. And give it a nice good crease there. See, now you got your little accordion. And then we're going to do it again. Okay. And there we go. And if you want to make these wider, you can. So now, let's see here. We're going to do it that. Let me see how this worked. See how when you attach it to the one side, you want the three valley fold or mountain folds out along with that one too. So we are going to put some fast views on here. And I haven't used fast views in a while apparently, so I forgot how to do it. So we're going to attach this. Line it up here, down around the bottom, which is going to be your longer side, and line it up right with the edge. There we go. And then we're going to do that again. Okay, you want your three peaks to be facing the outside. So we're going to apply some fast views onto this side here. And there we go. Let's get 
I'm ready. Very, very sticky. All right, and again, we're gonna line it up with the bottom edge like so. And okay, now we're gonna add fast views to this side and fast views to this side. And then as we hold it down, we're just going to, well, maybe that will not work. So we'll move this guy out of the way and we will line this up like so, right on the edge there. There you go. And then should be able to easily do this one here. Okay. Line them up, be careful. There we go. Now he's assembled and I just bent the bottom. <laughs> all right, so there's your little box, all assembled. Like I said, very easy to do. And put your little treat in there. You know what I mean? Fits, voila. All right, so now let's get to decorating him. So I've got some DSP here, and this guy here for the bottom piece, he is going to be two and three eighths by two and five eighths, and then I got another little piece here, and he is going to be two and three eighths by one and one eighth. So we're just going to attach these on here, and since I got the fast views out, I'm going to just use that. Oh my, oh my. It's, it's quite a day. I'm hoping the rest of the day does not go like this. So we're going to put him right on our front flap. Like so. And then, and I keep moving around. <laughs> Is my fast fuse ready? Okay. And then we're going to apply some fast fuse onto this guy. And I see, I think I made it a little too long. And I did it crooked too. Well, it's on fast views. That's just the way it's going to have to be. So, there's our little caddy. And then, to close him up, we're just going to take some Velcro. You can also tie a pretty ribbon right here if you want. And I seem to have lost my scissors. Oh my goodness, it's just... One of those days already. Let me grab another pair of scissors here. I'm just going to make cut a little strip off. And we will detach the pieces that we need. Or our sticky spots here. And we're just going to Put him like out there, and then we will close him up the way he's supposed to be. You can get your finger in there, and there. Now you got your attachment to open and shut him. Now, time to decorate this puppy. So, let's see if I can get him to stick. I don't want to stick very well. I think I put him up a little too high. All right, so I got a scrap piece of very vanilla here, and I decided I'm just going to grab since I had it sitting here, paper pumpkin stamp set, and I'm going to be using the best wishes one. So, and I got my momentum ink, ink him up, and whoops, didn't get inked up very well. We're going to just stamp that, and then I have our banner punch. Oops, can I pick him up? I'm just going to slide that in there. Punch him out. And I see he moved as I punched him. 
All right, and then since it's a little plain, I'm gonna take some of the black. I always like to sponge my edges. It just gives a little extra. Especially if you got a black and white project, I just makes it a little better. All right, we're done with that. And then I also, for a little decoration, like you can see here, we used the butterfly. I just took this little framelit from the rose garden thinlets dies. Here I took this little flower. I don't think I've even used him yet. And I took some of our glimmer paper and I ran him through the big shot. And we come out with this pretty little piece. So let me try to get this sealed the way it's supposed to be. We'll close them up. There we go. I'll probably have to move that Velcro piece. Cause... Anyways, let's get a dimensional. Put the dimensional on. You know me, dimensional hoarder. I'm going to cut my dimensional in half. Alright, take the back pieces off. with me and we're gonna put him there and then I'm going to see how this is so thin I'm going to take some of my fine tip glue and just apply a couple pieces glue spots here and there to it around the middle and then I am just going to stick him right there like so Hold him down so he sticks. Okay, there you go. Blah, blah. Very simple. Like I said, just today's not working. <laughs> Anyways, there you go. Finished product and the other sample. Let's see if we can hold it up. We can see the bling of the glimmer paper. There we go. If you like what you've seen, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. I love trying to do a tutorial video for you at least once a week. Um, you can also, if you're interested in checking out any of the products or ordering anything, you can check out my website, www.tiffanymanger.stampinup.net. Also, if you have any questions, you can contact me either by the comments down below, or you can check out my Facebook group, or my Facebook page, it's just a business page, um, Tiffany Manger Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. And I thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you come back again and have a nice day.